Hi gang, Riggerman here and welcome to another Riggerman Mental Agility Superpower lesson. So we established in the first lesson that these guys might have all the physical strength in the world but do they have the mental strength required to pass a maths test? I don't think so. So we're going to work through another wee activity today called the Amazing Squared Numbers trick. So I'll put a few questions on the board, tell you the rule and we'll see how you get on, okay? So first question Give you a few seconds to think about it. What is 5 squared? So 5 squared is 5 times 5, so that's an answer of 25. Did you get that? Okay, let's crank it up a notch. So 25 squared, what do we reckon that is? So that one's obviously not as simple. So here's the rule, listen carefully. It's always going to end in a 25. And the rule is you look at the first number, which is a 2, and you multiply it by the number above it in the number line. So we do 2 times 3, which is 6. So 25 squared is 625. Easy? Right, let's try another one. OK, 65 squared. On you go. So this one ends in a 25, just like all the others. And the rule is 6 times 7 number above 6 is 7, so 6 times 7 is 42. So 65 squared is 4,225. Check it in the calculator if you don't believe me. Did we get that? OK, what about 85 squared? Right, let's write down what we think that could be. So this one ends in a 25 with all the others, only it's 8 times the number above, which is 9 this time. So 8 times 9 is 72. So 85 squared is 7,225. Have you mastered this rule yet? Okay, let's try another few. 55 squared. Go for it. So 55 squared ends in a 25. It's 5 times 6, which is 30. So it's 3,025. Did we get that one? Right, okay. 75 squared, go for it, let's up the pace a wee bit. Ends in a 25, 7 times 8 is 56, 5,625. I hope you're getting these right. Okay, 95 squared. So, ends in a 25, 9 times 10 is 90, so 95 squared is 9,025. So how do we go on with those seven questions? So this rule works because 95 times 95, the tens are the same, they're both 90s, and the rule also works because the units add up to 10, 5 plus 5 is 10. So this rule can only work, the tens are the same, and the units add up to 10. So on that basis, we should be able to do this sum, 22 times 28, just by using the same rule. So 2 times 8, the last two digits, 2 times 8, means it's going to end in a 16 this time, not 25 like the last one. And the cover-up rule is still the same. The number at the front is 2, 2 times the number above, which is 3, so that would give us an answer of 616. So we're using this rule with slightly different numbers. Try question 9. OK, so this one, 3 times 7, ends in a 21, and 6 times the number above, 6 times 7 is 42. So 63 times 67 is 4,221. Did you get that right? If you did, take it from me. The picture of me giving the thumbs up is for you then, if that's the case. Right, number 10, try this one. So this time it ends in 6 times 4, which is 24. And 4 times the number above, 4 times 5, which is 20. So 46 times 44 is 2024. Try this one. 87 times 83. Go for it. Okay, so 7 times 3 at the end, 21. And 8 times 9 is 72. So 87 times 83 is 7,221. Right, keep going. 58 times 52, 
right then the answer ok 8 times 2 ends in a 16 5 times 6 starts with a 30 3016 at this stage you should be answering these quite quickly right 74 times 76 go for it ok 4 times 6 ends in a 24 and 7 times 8 is 56 so 74 times 76 is 5624 we should be getting really quick at this now. Okay, fire an answer down quick as you can. Okay, the answer to this one is Disney work. So did we see that? For the rule to work, the tens have got to both be the same, okay, they're both thirties, but the units have got to add up to ten, and in this case, eight plus three adds up to eleven. So you can't actually use this amazing squared numbers trick for this particular sum. I hope you spotted that. Okay, and that concludes our second lesson, um, Rigging My Mental Agility Superpower Lesson, the Amazing Squared Numbers Trick. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll hopefully see you again at the next one. Okay, bye for now.